who are, who are you and uh, what, why are you here today? My name is Charlene Smith. I'm a first year PhD student in the Manatee Lab. And today I'm here primarily to network and get to know um, other professionals, other students who are in the nuclear engineering field and see where the research is currently. Yeah, I've been learning a lot that the, the workshops are really, really, really good. The presenters themselves, they actually go out of their way to, to go through the theory and then we have another section where we can do hands-on training, which was which is which is very nice. I've, I haven't been to a conference that had that um, that separation in the workshop. I got into nuclear because I want to contribute to the energy production. Coming from a third world country, I'm originally from St. Catherine, Jamaica, and um, electricity and energy production essentially is, is really a problem. I initially got into uh, solar energy because I thought that was just immediately the thing that would uh, contribute to energy production right away. So the research is there, the potential is there, the theory is there. Mm -hmm. However, if we want to increase energy production in the next 10 years, in the next five years, what can we, 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 yeah. we the research be. will still be ongoing. And so I started to explore nuclear yeah. engineering. Yeah. And so um, I, prim I primarily um, started to focus on nuclear fuels because essentially that's a driver of how much energy is produced. How do they produce energy in Jamaica? Is they it burn coal. Coal. Yeah, we don't that's, like, uh, that's good for you. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> when, when we start to talk about the research advancements that are being done in Jamaica, it's not, the scale is very, very minuscule compared to what's being done in the United States. And I want to be, wanted to be able to have hmm. a bigger impact, a broader impact mm -hmm. um, that can affect not only my country possibly, but other countries in, in Africa or all around, the, uh, yeah. all around the world. Yeah, what would that be like, actually, if you had a nuclear reactor in Jamaica? What, what would that be? <sighs> What would that do? <laughs> ah, to the people's mindset of, of <laughs> thinking that it's a tiny island, we're going to blow up and all die. <laughs> the, the idea of having a nuclear uh, reactor mm -hmm. on the island, on such a small island, considering that Fukushima is very fresh in um, mm -hmm. a lot of other people's mind would, would be kind of like daunting on the people. Hard sell. But however, mm -hmm. if we start to talk about the advantages that are associated with um, building a nuclear reactor, it would definitely help a lot of people. It could even power the whole country. One could possibly power the whole country, would do, which would essentially do a lot of, of good. But essentially, we need to get people's mindset out of this perception, because it will never happen mm -hmm. if people think it's not safe. Right, right. And the coal, I mean, that's that has a real impact right yeah. now, right? Yeah, it does. But yeah. it is what it is. We're a third world yeah. country. I think you guys will get there. We'll see it. You're going to be part of the solution, too. We'll see. We'll see. That's, yeah. that's the plan. How to talk a little bit about your research. How, do, how does this help solve some of the, the problems in the world? Oh, definitely. Yeah. The MMMRC program, which mm -hmm. is the Materials Minimization Management or Reactor Conversion Program, mm -hmm. is tasked mm -hmm. with converting high-enriched uranium fuels being used in research and test reactors to low-enriched uranium fuels being used mm -hmm. in, in these reactors. You're probably wondering, why should you care? <laughs> you should care because if you can consider yourself transporting high enriched uranium fuel from University of Florida to, where are you from? Uh, Minnesota. To Minnesota. <laughs> and during that transit, your uh, high enriched uranium material is, is intercepted by some bandits. <laughs> they could very easily go ahead and make a nuclear weapon. I say very easily, mm. but they could make a nuclear weapon um, mm. with that high enriched uranium material. Mm. And so to minimize the, non -prolif the proliferation risks, the MMRC program wants to just use, replace high enriched uranium fuels with low enriched uranium fuels. But before we can do that, we need to make sure that these low enriched uranium fuels that we want to replace the high enriched uranium fuels with are performing up to par with the high enriched uranium fuels. Mm -hmm. And so my research focuses on investigating one of those low enriched uranium fuels. Okay, so you're, you're keeping us safe as, yes. as we uh, yes. try to use, utilize this important yes. resource. Yes. Awesome. I still want to ask you. That might be it. You want to get a sandwich? <laughs> sure. Cool. <laughs>